Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place. Neo Scavenger, there is a dog man just staring a hole in the back of my head right now. It's actually quite terrifying. We have a few more areas to scavenge over here. I do believe we left off with the idea that if we make any noise, we gotta run. Because he'll probably... I, I'm pretty sure he could already see me as it is, but... I'm trying to avoid combat with that thing because it scares the hell out of me. I mean, the dog man is just dangerous because... One wrong move on your end could basically mean game over, especially without the proper equipment. Armor, anyway, which I don't have any armor. We don't really have any DMC stuff. All we have is, like, Dogman fur coat and clothing on. So, one wrong attack from that guy could completely mess up our run. And look how great this run is going. You know, box card, weapons, and all sorts of shit over here. So I would really be pissed off if that happened. What I'm not pissed off about right now is the fact that we got some chips. So we're gonna eat some of the old chippy chips over here. We'll probably break this down for some more tinfoil. And, ooh, we got a full can for once as well. <laughs> um, which is pretty cool. I guess what we could do right now is... Do I really need all that string? Probably not. We'll move you over here for now. And let's see. Those them pills or bottles are empty. We have some gummy bears. So we might as well just have the old gummy Venus de Milo. There you go. Okay. And is that an... Oh, shit, there was two of them. Oh, you guys can't stack, huh? Ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm gonna take you guys. Why not? Hell yeah. There you go. Ugh. My my inventory is a, a fucking mess right now. <laughs> this pains me to see this. This is terrible right now, but whatever, man. What can you do? Uh, we have another one of these as well. But we already have two. One's gonna be the one that we keep around. We'll probably sell the other one. This one's about in pretty terrible condition. It only sells for six dollars, so we're fine with what we have. Now, Dogman is still over there hanging out. Staring at me down. So let me go into crafting. I want to want to break something down that we just got here. I forgot what that was though. What was it? Oh, that's right. You. <laughs> I already forgot. I was just staring at it too, like you know, Falcon going to the inventory screen and break this down. I go in there and I'm like, what was I doing here again? There you go. Is that 30? Oh, dude, we have um 90 now. I think that's gonna be enough to make our tin foil suit, if I'm correct here. I'm not gonna make it right now, but let me find out. Uh, it's all we need is 90. I'm pretty sure it's 90, but... Yeah, ba -ba 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 -ba. where is the other stack? And don't we need, like, probably string or something? Not that string, what about full string? No. Maybe it's more than 90? Or maybe I'm just missing something I don't have. There we go! A cutting tool. As the, that's gonna be for the patchwork foil poncho, and that's gonna be useful for the last area. Which we're not gonna do just yet, but... I'm not going to make that as well, because it's going to take up a lot of space in my inventory, as you can probably imagine. Alrighty, just wanted to see what it was uh, required to uh, make. We have one more thing to actually check through here, and then Dogman's going to probably just rush me. We uh, <laughs> alerted nearby creatures. Exactly what I was hoping not to do. Let's come down over here. I think we're done with that area. Dogman, don't chase me at nighttime. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get a torch happening here, because I don't want to be chased by that Dogman in the middle of the night here. Uh, of course, yeah, sure. I want to use the glove. Why not? I don't want to use that bottle either, game. Quality torch. You come over here. You, my friend. Oh, you're going to have to. Yeah, I forgot. I have to tr light you on, and when I light you on, more than likely, I have to remove you and place you again. Of course. There you go. Alrighty. Let's um jump through the woods, maybe. <laughs> See if we can lose that fucking dog man from chasing me down. Okay, we're fine now. Uh, We're not going to scavenge through here. Where's the facility at? Getting closer to it. So, let's just run this way. I want to avoid Dogman at all costs. We have a little town over here. Great. And our turn. And let's see what's available in here. Ooh, a bunch of buildings. Crumbling apartment building. We're going to use our shitty lighter. Crowbar. Crowbar. Come along. Another shelter. Really nothing much that I want over here, so we'll ignore that. Next one over. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Eh, but, 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 really not much over here either. Crumbling apartment building. Any better luck over here, my friend? Rotted floorboard. Your foot slips through a rotting floorboard, causing you to trip. The scrapes and bruises will sting for a while, but thankfully it wasn't more serious. No useful items were found this time. Your activity lightly alerted nearby creatures. Okay. So we have a small injury that I will be dealing with here pretty shortly. Let's, um... We were scratched and bruised. We we're going to probably use some of the alcohol to put on our injury so it doesn't possibly get infected. I doubt it will be, but I've heard on occasion as well that some of the scratches from apartment buildings or just buildings in general 
could potentially lead to either an infection or even blue rot is what I've heard. I'm not sure if that's 100% true. But, you know, I'd rather play it safe than sorry. Our run is going way too good right now to leave it a chance. So, crowbar. We'll use lighter again. Nothing was found. Alerting my creatures. Hopefully it's not that dogman is still chasing me. And, oh my god, we're just getting fucked up now. Roof collapse. An unstable ruin starts falling as a result of your rummaging and a portion of the roof collapse. You were cut bruised by the... You are cut and bruised by the falling debris. No useful items were found. Oh my god, look at me! <laughs> I was fine, I was like 100% in one moment, and suddenly you turn it around and all this shit happens over here. Okay, luckily for us, as I mentioned, we do have ways to cure this up right now. So let's um, start off by emptying this out. Let's also finally bring out the old rags here for a reason. And we'll use whiskey over here to dry off, or at least... Disinfect that wound. Player's wound stings with pain. Yeah, that's gonna happen when you um, use a cut over here. But hey, God, we're just being safe than sorry, you know? There you go. Just tough it up, dog. I know we could be drinking that whiskey instead and selling it, but, you know, I'm gonna, you know, be 100% sure that we're gonna be fine here. So we'll wrap that up. We'll wrap this up and that one right here. The ones with the bruising, we don't need to wrap those. We're fine. Alrighty. So, yeah. I feel more comfortable and safer this way. Let's uh, place you up here. And if you are in pain, as you apparently mentioned, we have some painkillers as well. Have one. There you go. See? I'm taking care of this guy like it was my life, really. In a sense, it probably is my life. Not technically, but, you know, theoretically, figuratively in the game as well. So I'm treating this guy perfectly fine, you know? Just disinfecting everything, putting, you know proper heels and, you know, wrappings on bleeding areas. You know, it's all good. 46, 55, 30, 17. Mm, a little bit thirsty, aren't we? We'll hold off a bit longer. We're not really hungry for the berries anyway. And that's about it. Alrighty. End turn. We're fine. No dogman? No dogman. Let's see, so our torch is probably Dunsky at this point, right? We will make ourselves a better torch. Stronger, better, faster, harder. Place. <laughs> Not what I wanted to move there, but okay. And we will turn on quality torch. And. Here, we already had one, though, Falcon. Well, it's about to break down, okay? That's the reason why I made it. Condition 37. Ah. Get on out of here. Don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. Alright, let's move down through here. Through here, and through here. I didn't leave anything behind of value, did I? I hope not. Player is thirsty. Okay, we can take care of that pretty soon. Stop doing that, Falcon. Almost the facility again, so that's going to be pretty cool. We have our light, so let's just move forward here. We have another little city, town to inspect. Scavenge about, a bunch of buildings. Hopefully these guys on the side to um, fall on me again, huh? And hurt me even some more. So, we found more of the old bodily booze. Don't really care too much about that. I think I might have left some tin foil behind, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Oh, well. You come over here. You on the side. And that is pretty much all she wrote, I'm going to say, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. I, I left some tinfoil behind. I really hate the fact that I did that because um, tinfoil can be sometimes difficult to find. I think I left like a stack of like 12 or something behind. But, you know, so far I've been doing really good with this run in terms of not forgetting stuff. And when I forget stuff, I remember what I forget, too. I'm not making the effort to go back and get it, though. I'm, I'm too lazy for that. But it's the thought that counts, you know? That's what they always say. Oh, some more ships, too. Yeah. Absolutely, we'll eat you right now. Okay. And there you go. See, I kind of made up the tinfoil that I was talking that was so rare, apparently. There it is. <laughs> Game's just like, what do you mean rare, dog? Here's another one. It's like, oh, okay. Well, never mind. Fuck me. I was wrong. Crafting. Go to the old Wobs potato chip bag. Break you down. Alrighty, and then you come over here. Yeah. Not that we need any more, obviously. We already know that with the 90 that we have. As a matter of fact, we're right about that, huh? With the 90 that we have, we have already enough to make the tinfoil suit. Oh, well, I'll still carry it around because I can, but... I guess I should probably remember that we already have enough for the suit itself. Man Tower building. Bam, bam, and... Alerted nearby creatures. Speaking of nearby creatures, why is my broad spear always somehow unequipped for combat? Don't understand it. Don't like it. 
Since we have some twigs over here, we might as well make ourselves another one of these. Oh, look, it's actually using paper now. Oh, you can use paper for the torch, really? Oh, I was going to make a shitty piece of paper, though. Ah. Oh, not a piece of paper. I was going to make a shitty torch because we're using the old terrible wood. I'd rather not you use that, so how about we use a, a, a decent condition one, huh? Like one of these guys here. There you go. That's good. There you go. See, that's a lot easier, Falcon. Just make sure you're making a good condition item and you'll be fine. Turn this on. All right. None's the wiser. You turn this on right here. Okay, good. Let's, um, still thirsty, huh? It's not completely affecting my movement speed just yet, but it's going to soon start doing that, so I guess we'll probably have to drink something here soon enough. Bam Tower Building. What is available in here? We've got a of box and some cornicola. This will warm me up here a little bit. It is kind of cold, as you could probably see here, but we're comfortable because we have a bunch of warm stuff on anyway, so I don't believe we need it, so I'll just let it hang out there. Next one. Bam. Bam, and... More shit. Okay. So I think we... Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, bird. Don't you flap your wings no more. I don't know what I was going with that song, really. Wender turn right here, though. Aha! There's the file, the facility. I was going to say the file facility. That's how I combine words, you know? You know, you could say the cryo facility, or you could just say the file facility. And then nobody in the world will understand you, but apparently I would, because that's how I talk normally now. Uh, let's come down this way. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I'm so excited to get the mod underway over here. And we're back in square one. This is where we started the entire game. Or this is not the entire game. Well, I guess in a sense, yes, but the run itself. Now, check this out. If we want to go upwards, we would run into that area where people fight and cannibalize each other. And a bit further up is where the Anishaba Shaba Boom Pow Pow Camp is at. And we probably want to go there because that'll be easier to sell stuff there than it would coming back all the way to the junk mail. What the hell is happening over here? Can you, like, give me any more overlapping <laughs> locations? I think we have junk market. We have... Detroit Mega City Gates, and there's another one in there too. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> I don't know what it says there. There's like three words right there, just overlapping each other. It's just confusing me now. Okay, whatever. Um, facility is. We are really quite parched and burdened because we're parched as well. Um, did we check out this shack over here? I wonder. I don't think we did. Let's actually get some water in us here first, and then we will continue going to the facility. That's going to bring us up to 5 of 5 again. You know what? Since there's water around, we might as well take this this um, point to just fill our water supply back up, I'm going to say. Are we hungry? Maybe a little bit. We could probably have some of the old berry bears. Berry bears don't really do much for the hunger, do they? That's fine. And we have gummy bears over here. We needed those. We even have some ketchup. Ketchup and gummy bears, the breakfast of champions. Alrighty. Uh, you know, we'll get some water afterwards. Let's go to the facility now. I'm actually interested in doing that. Or am I? Hmm. Which one do we go to? Yeah, let's get some water here first, I'm going to say. Uh, okay, so let's go into scaven. Excuse me, my friend. You, you can't scavenge here, but there's water here. Hold up. There we go. I guess I wasn't really trying to scavenge, I was trying to get into my inventory to get water. But I'm an idiot, so... Obviously, things that I do regularly in the game in the entire video so far, I forget whenever I need to use it randomly. It's like selective memory loss, you know? <laughs> I don't know how it works. Really worries me. Really worries me a lot. So, let's go into Small Campfire Friction. I think lit is all we really do need, right? Yeah. We do a lit one right here. And... The way this usually works is quite easy, but... We have, we need five, five couples, I'm going to say. <laughs> it's a swinger party. Five couples. I'm going to basically advertise myself on Craigslist. I'm looking for five couples, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, I'm a very lonely man. Uh, anyway, available ingredients. Let's go into, uh, you need you. We need fire roux. And we also need dirty water. So you, 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 and you. Are we thirsty now? Not really. But we might as well just have like an extra bit of water just in case. So this will fill up our bottles and we'll be fine. Firm. All this out right here. I still can't believe we have not found one single um, pod. You know, it's crazy. 
I mean, not that we need it needed, but it'd be nice to just have it, you know? So I could just purify a bunch of stuff at once because I'm a very lazy individual. And that's... Come over here. I guess I should just be double-clicking you, huh? You'll go to the right spot if I double-click you, right? Yeah, see? You guys are... You guys are on it. There you go. And this will be my water. So... Eh. Let's wait till our turn is over, more than likely. So... Fires here. Everything else is pretty good. We probably could get some rest, but it's not really that imperative. Don't don't take your pants off, Falcon. <laughs> there's, there's no need for the pants to be coming off right now. I know I mentioned five couples, but there's no reason for the pants to be coming off right now. Uh, let's go ahead and end our turn here. We'll head back to the facility here pretty soon. Let me just go back into the inventory, and there's some ash over here. You know what? Let's take the ash for now. Maybe we have to purify wa uh, food soon enough, and having it already on hand could be pretty useful. Drink water, drink water, there you go. So we're completely fine over here. All fine and dandy. I'm really curious about this shack, so I'm going to take one perusal in there. Just because I'm a very curious individual. Uh, so we'll do quality torch over here. Can you not use the old glove, please? Alright, thank you very much. There you go. 100%. And quality torch lit. Alright. The one that I have is about to break down. I swear to God. I, I, I thought I had this time. I, I really did, and I forgot I had it on hand. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure you guys already figured that out. Uh, let's go to the shack over here and do some scavenging about. Oh my god. Oh, this could be pretty awesome. <laughs> you know what this feels like? Hold up. Did you guys ever play? Or whether you played it or you watched somebody play it or you saw a video somewhere. Did you guys ever um, check out the NES game? Um, the Friday the 13th NES game? This is what this reminds me of, just because there's a shack in the woods. This reminds me of that horrible, horrible labyrinth maze forest area in the game. I mean, the game is awful, but it, it's kind of like one of those awful games that's really endearing at the same time, where I'm not sure if it's just because of nostalgia, but I grew up playing that shit. I never beat it once as a kid. As a grown-ass adult, I finally have beaten his first form, I think maybe second one. I can't beat last final form, um, Freddy, or not Freddy, but Jason. Just way too ridiculous. But you know what? Beating him at once is more than enough for me. Anyway, this right here, for some reason, like, when I saw this pop up, it just instantly gave me, like, nostalgia to back when I was a kid rummaging around through that goddamn wood area in the Friday the 13th game. I'm not sure why, but it did, and I felt like pointing it out to you. Another tangent, Falcon? Yes, another tangent. I apologize. Let's go back in here and start doing some perusing about. It's a fun game. It's uh, it's just, it's really like terribly done though, but I like the concept of the game was actually kind of fun, but it was just, you know, it's an NES game. It's just really hard to, another crowbar, that's that's funny now. That's just comical. It was just really hard, especially for the NES to really flesh out what they were going for, I want to say, but yeah, it was a kind of a hassle to play, but I don't know. I enjoyed it. We have some more pills, of course. We have orange pills. I know we have a stack for those somewhere here. So you come... Oh, really? Orange pills? Can't play with the orange pills now? How many different pills are in this game? Okay. Uh, I need another spot for you guys. So... Lighter, you'll come over here somewhere. Catch up. You're, you're on thin ice, my friend. You're on thin ice right now. Uh, what does the ketchup really do for us? Is it, like, even restorative, really? Oddly enough... It seems to be almost as restorative for hunger as the berries are. Not really, huh? Nah, whatever. Let's just have the ketchup now. Well, what are you doing here, Falcon? You're not going to have any ketchup to garnish your food with. It's like, well, what am I going to garnish with? Berries and gummy bears and ketchup? Sounds like a really terrible combination. 73.7 and ours is a lot better, so we'll just hang on to ours. But it's funny that there was a, a literally a, a crowbar so close to our goal that we needed a crowbar for. Or at least we didn't need it, but I always made it my goal to have it. Let's go through this last little area here, and then we'll go into the uh, facility itself. No useful items. Another shack over here. I'm surprised at how many shacks are right here. All huddled up together. This is like some sort of like concubine or something. <gasps> oh. Now, mind you, there is no charges for it, but it just looks badass. And, you know, it's a lot better than this. Well, actually, technically right now, because there is no filters in it, it's not as... Probably even less useful than just wrapping stuff around your face. But whatever. At least my character looks like Bay now. I could be like... <sighs> 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 wait, wait. That's 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 Darth Vader. 
Uh, my bad. My bad. What am I looking for? A fire rises, brother. Okay. We already talked about that sounds like drunk cerebral damage. Sylvester Stallone. Um, okay. We fe- Oh my goodness, God. I just realized we have a ton of bullets over here. Oh my God. I love this area so much. Handful of ashes. You guys could go. Actually, you know what? Hang out. Berries, you could go F yourself. Okay, now I not only carry a bunch of drugs, but I also carry a bunch of ammunition. I feel like I'm some sort of, like, weird terrorist over here. And I will definitely take this along with me. Oh my god, I, I love the shacks. I've told you so much, man. The Shaquille O'Neal's in the forest, always the place to go. And we have two more to still go through as well. <laughs> no, pick a crowbar, any crowbar. Uh, we'll use the 48.7. We'll use Terrible Lighter. Got another lighter by using Terrible Lighter, and we also have some pretty decent binos over here as well. I do believe that the ones I had I dropped because they were just um, taking up too much space, and it seems that's going to be the same case over here too. Now, mind you, we need to make a bit more room for this, but we can probably finagle that in here. Perhaps by doing this, you come down up. Come down and hang out here. And... <laughs> I worked it out. Twenty dollars. I want to leave that behind. Not particularly, but twenty-seven. Yeah, and no, I'll, well, yeah, you guys can stay behind. Whatever. Whatever. And one more scavenge over here. Forest. Um, forty-eight point six. Where's the ones about to break down? Four point two. Jesus, these 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 shacks over here were completely stocked with everything you needed to go forward. Oh look, more bullets, Falcon. My goodness, God, I'm going to be a millionaire whenever I get to a camp somewhere. <laughs> Look at all this shit. As a matter of fact, I wonder if any of these bullets work for my handgun. I might as well just keep the handgun in some bullets and be like a wrecking crew, even though I'm more of a melee-based character. But even so, this is just ridiculous now. And you're 89.2. You're 71.9, right? I, I should carry all of these, honestly. So here's what we do. You come... Oh, come now. Don't, don't give me this shit. Empty out. Come in there. Boom. Boom. The chew go in. Yeah. And then we'll have lighters, drugs, every <laughs> This is my setup now. Okay, I I'm I'm gonna make a new drug bag over here now because we can have so many drugs anyway. There you go. This works out splendidly. Here's my new drug stash over here. We'll have lighters and bullets and whatever else. This works out quite fine. You need a lighter? <laughs> Pick one. You need a crowbar? Pick one. You need drugs? Pick one. I'm just loaded everywhere, man. There we go. This is just redonkulous now. Alright, guys. We're going to wrap it up here for today. Uh, next episode, we finally do the facility. I will catch you next time.